Autumn Scruggs and I'm here with Crown Brush and I'm going to show you how to do a lip in a few strokes versus a whole bunch of strokes. Um, a great brush for doing this is the IB117. It's the oval lip. It's a little larger than the average lip brush that you would normally go for. Um, a good way of picking out any brushes is depending on what size or of the area of the face you're going to, you want to do the least amount of strokes. So for someone that has a little bit of a fuller lip, um, a, a larger brush is perfect for that. Um, and this is a great one for our model for here today. Um, she already has a smoky eye and her brows and her blush and her foundation on, so we're just going to go ahead and do the lips really quick. I'm just using two colors from the Crown Lip Palette. I'm kind of just mixing them together. I'm going for more of a nude, bronzy look. So you just want to start out. Usually on the bottom lip, you can kind of work the color that you're looking for back and forth and kind of smile really tight for me. If the, if the lips are really nice and soft, her lips are very soft and moisturized, um, it's better if you work the, the color into the lip with them smiling. So if you feel like it's sticking in certain areas, just have the client smile a little bit. And you can have them rub together if they can. <laughs> yeah. And then you can kind of work on the top lip. So if you see I'm kind of working from the corner out and up, because the edges are flat on this brush, I'm able to go right along her natural lip line and create a really nice clean line. Same on the other side. And it's almost just rolling the brush in your fingers. So I'm going to lifting up and rolling right at the cupid's bow area of the lip. And if we need a little more. Because it's rounded too, it's really nice to go right at the top if you want to create a little more roundness where the bow and the lip is. Perfect.